What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today is Wednesday, March 11th. So what is happening in the markets today? Another wild ride. S&P's down 128. Dow down over 1,300. NASDAQ down over 300. Russell down almost 80. Looking at a chart of the S&P's here, I mean, just just the size of these bars is, it just continues to be crazy. And so a couple things in the news today. Uh, obviously, the World Health Organization came out and officially, I'm giving air quotes here if you can't see me, officially said the coronavirus is a worldwide pandemic, as if we didn't know that at this point. But uh, what does that really mean? Well, just it just means that every, you know, countries are on even more heightened alert where they're, you know, I mean, all these conferences are getting shut down. Some cities and towns are kind of on lockdown. And so, you know, that's what's driving this price action, obviously, with a situation like that where people aren't gathering, they're not traveling, uh, revenues are going to be down, forward profits are going to be down. And so that's what the market is reacting to. Obviously, in addition, we're still in this situation with oil, where OPEC is now meeting, uh, well, some lobbyists are, are going and trying to get this thing solidified, but oil still down a little bit today. Obviously, uh, nowhere in comparison to the drop that we saw Sunday evening into Monday, but so it has rebounded a little bit since then. So we do have oil positions on, and we're just, we're being really patient with this. We don't want to get caught in a whiplash situation, and so we're just kind of being a little bit patient with any adjustments. Same thing with bonds. Bonds actually pretty flat today. They were up a little bit. Now they're coming back down. And so what's interesting about that is, you know, typically when you're seeing a big sell-off like this in stocks where the market's down 4 or 5%, you're going to see bonds going higher, but that was not the case today. And same thing with gold. You know, a lot of people think that there's a, a very large inverse correlation to gold in the market. So when the market's going up, gold's going down and vice versa. That's actually not the case. Gold is fairly uncorrelated to the markets. And we're seeing that today where the, the markets are down and gold is also down. Whereas, you know, sometimes we'll see the market down and, and gold is firing to the upside. Well, today's market's down and gold is down as well. So some interesting price action across the board. I want to take a look at some of the stocks here. I've set my chart up to show year to date. So you see instead of the price on the right hand column here, you're seeing percentages. So for example, gold year to date is up 6.81%. But I want to take a look at some of the individual stocks starting with Apple. Everyone's favorite stock, Apple, down just 8.3%. So Apple is actually held up much better than a lot of other stocks. For example, Boeing, which first initially had that issue with their Max being grounded, and then some continued news releases about today they came out and said they're cutting their workforce as well as freezing all new hires. And anyway, you look at Boeing, it's down 43% year to date. If you look at Bank of America as a metric for the banks, down 36%. If we look at booking, a big travel company, down 30%. Costco holding up really well, still up 2% on the year, even though they're out of toilet paper and water, supposedly. Some of these others that I was looking at, uh, if we look at like Delta Airlines, D-A-L, obviously the airlines getting hit. It's wrong ticker, D-A-L. Delta Airlines down 27%. Some of these casinos, if we look at Wynn, down 10% today, down over 43% year to date. Walmart, you know, it's holding up relatively well, only down about less than 4%. So, oh, United Healthcare up after, you know, that Super Tuesday, excuse me, down just 5%. So holding up pretty well in the healthcare sector. And if you look at stocks like Tesla, for example, which had that huge run up, really uncorrelated to the rest of the market, and then it has come down obviously since then, but still up 47% on the year. So Tesla, one of the big performers to the upside, but like Uber and Lyft really getting hit recently, but only down 15% on the year. 
So interesting stuff. So game plan going forward for us, we've been very quiet as far as new trades this week, just waiting for things to shake out just a bit. If we get another push lower tomorrow, we'll definitely start adding some more short premium with with implied volatility just through the roof, getting some massive credits when we're selling premium, both Delta neutral strategies and iron ducks. All we've really been doing this week is continuing to roll down our short delta. So rolling down our strikes, rolling down our strikes, rolling down our strikes. We haven't really added much of anything. And so that's that's what we've kind of done to this point through Wednesday. But tomorrow, I think we're going to start dipping our toes back in and potentially adding some new positions. So look for that. Everybody have a nice evening and we'll talk to you tomorrow.